Welcome to another episode of The Wong Reviewer. We're going to test this Sugru waterproof. Hi, welcome to another episode of The Wong Reviewer. In today's episode, we're going to review Sugru and its waterproof capabilities. I have used Sugru in the past to fix broken toys, um, to use it as sticky tack, to, to tack two, two different materials together. I've also used it to fix my closet door. My closet door has a ruler that you open and shut. Uh, the track, the plastic piece that holds the track together was broken. I couldn't find a replacement one. So I actually fashioned one out of Sugru. And uh, it's been a year now and it still works fine. I can still open and close the closet door. I wanted to check out Sugru's waterproof capabilities. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix my son's rain boot. Uh, the rain boot seam started break apart and he was getting water into his rain boot. He was complaining it was getting water was coming through. So we're going to use Sugru to patch up the rain boot to see how well it works. I just want to quickly show you the packaging that we bought from Amazon. So this is the package that we bought. A Sugru package. Uh, it comes in eight different individual packages. Moldable glue. You can see it says Fix it, create, make it. And what we did was, uh, in this package, it comes in five different colors, gray, brown, black, white, and green, which we already just used. Two, co two packs each. Okay, and in the back, you know, it says it's advanced techno silicone technology, and this is what we want to check. And we want to see how waterproof and weatherproof it is. So without much further ado, let's Get to the test. So in this particular one, we're going to use the green Sugru to fix his boot. So what we did first is we took a Clorox bleach wipe and we just wanted to clean the boot from all the mud and gunk that was on the boot to make sure we had a clean surface to apply the Sugru to. So here my son and I are cleaning the boots. Here's a close-up of the t of the seam split apart and where the water was coming into the boot and where he was complaining that his socks were wet. This is just a quick time lapse of us uh, cleaning the rest of the boots. And my son was very involved in the process. Uh, here I am trying to open the Sugru package and I actually struggled with opening the package. Um, it was a lot. I should have used a pair of scissors to tear it open. Uh, it just feels like Play-Doh. So when you eventually do open the package and you actually have the Sugru in your hand, the instruction says you have to roll it into a ball and kind of warm it up. And you have to roll it in your hands and move it back and forth to warm up the Sugru before you apply it to the surface. So this is just my son just rolling it back and forth in his hands. You can see where the seam is, where my son's pointing at it. And here he is applying the Sugru to, to the seam. Um, one thing to note, uh, this was his project and this is something he wanted to fix and do and something as a parent that I wanted him to take responsibility for as well. So uh, he did a majority of the patchwork. Uh, it might not be pretty, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that he was the one who did it and to make sure that uh, he took accountability for it. So uh, I know it's not as pretty as it looks, but again, we just want to make sure it was functionality. And realistically, um, he was probably just going to wear it for another season and then we'll have to throw it away anyways. And here we are patching the other boot that also has uh, the same kind of issue where the seam is coming apart and water was getting into the boot.
So now we're going to record. Oops. So now we're going to check how waterproof the seal is made from Subaru. So if we put the seals on the boots. And then we're going to put a napkin, paper towels in there, and then we're going to run it underwater. Okay. Don't touch. Can you see? Mm-hmm. Can you see? Yes. So here I am spraying over the Subaru patch, making sure it was nice and wet, and making sure that both patches were covered with water. And they ran it for quite a while. Okay, so we'll get all the way around. The path way around, all the way around. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. When do we stop this video? Don't stop it. Okay. So I think that should be, we'll put a little more. But a torrential. I, an extra layer. Okay. The video shows this, right? Yeah. The water going in. Stop the water! Okay. Can you just show this? Uh huh. Holy oh, yeah. hell. It's not wet. Is it wet? Nope. And then I'm going to dry my hands. Right now, I'll keep turning back where it was before looking at that, then it changed. Yeah, okay. No, not wet, it worked. Woohoo! Did work, did we work, did we work, did we work? So, thumbs up, it worked. Bing! Okay, cool. Stop. So, in conclusion, I do recommend Subaru based on a very unscientific method of putting Subaru onto a rubber boot and running it underwater. It wasn't wet. It'd be interesting to see. Um, how the boot holds up after wear and tear of my son using it on multiple times on several occasions and running through puddles that like he usually does. I'd be interested to know maybe a month from now um, if, if it still retains its waterproof capabilities. Again, the patchwork was done by my eight-year-old, so um, it seems to hold up. So but it'd be interesting to see how well it would do down the road. Um, but it is waterproof. Um, so in conclusion, would I recommend this? Yes, I would do it. Definitely recommend uh, a Subaru for these things. So thank you again for watching The Wong Reviewer, and uh, until next time.